Welcome to the afters, uncut bonus content for our best friends behind the paywall on this rainy, shitty, fucking day in New York titty. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that, but we just pod with me, Um <laughs> yeah, Lawrence, how the hell are you, buddy? Uh, I am riding high after getting gassed yeah. for, I don't know, was that an hour oh, and a half? You're the timekeeper now. No, nah, honestly, I fucked up. She, the Zoom was facing her, so I had to, like, really, I had to, and I'm like, I don't want to be, like, I'm looking down her shirt, but I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with the Zoom weirdly got <laughs> fucking placed. I don't know. I, um, I think it was like an hour 35. <laughs> you were, I honestly, I was like, why is Lawrence looking at down me and Khalifa's shirt so much? That was crazy. I'm just kidding. I know your wife is watching. Jenna, all jokes. Jenna is um, not watching, but I was not. Like an hour and I'm, a half? I don't know. An hour and a half was just like great times with the goat, Mia. It is funny how any allegations that we could ever have about, I don't know, latent, tiny, little sexism, Misogyny? Not true, dude. Mia uh, only fucks with us because of Brenda hashtag another woman who loves us. Well, no, she's like I fucked with you guys before Brenda, but really, she's like I loved the oh, memes the, and shit. the pod so much. Uh, I did see a, a comment on TikTok recently where it was it was uh, like I only looked at it because it popped up because it was from a very old video when we had Heidi Bivens on. Oh, the shout costume, out Heidi, the costume designer of Euphoria, and the clip there was how did you manage to do the impossible and make Zendaya look so frumpy? And she like gives hmm. an answer talking about like uh, referencing like skater magazines from like the late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah. Um, and I thought the clip was totally innocuous and good and and whatever. And the uh, comment is, "Wow, these guys really don't know how to talk about women." And I'm like, "Yikes!" Was huh. that comment from a woman? Uh, at least someone that presented femme in their profile photo. Well, what I would say to that person is, you're clearly not paying attention, and you should tune in to the Mia Khalifa episode. <laughs> yeah. And no one is looking at anyone's shirt to be fucking crystal clear. I'd like to beat those allegations. Okay. The Celine men's shirt. Yeah. Great right. taste. Yeah. She, you know, it's so funny. Like I, I know about like her journey and how she's like moved into fashion. I thought that she was like low key, like a hype beast. And she might've been for a while. You weren't familiar with the game. Not the current game, which is right. just the taste level, honestly. And it sh I sh guess I shouldn't be surprised because even when she was like maybe doing a sneaker head thing, it wasn't like whack shit. It was like okay, good shit within that whack space. Right. right uh, no, right, right. she's got fucking taste, bro. The watch, the yeah. reverso. See, I, I was not that shocked because as someone who is familiar with their game, because I have been following her for a minute. I had not. Um, because I'm not allowed to follow women as on a, Instagram. As a true... Free Palestine's men. I follow people on social media that say shit that I don't necessarily want to say out there, put out there. How often? Because this happens to me a lot. When we're potting with somebody that's like, well, I don't know what level. I don't want to also do this every time we do it afters, but like, okay. Um, <laughs> but here we go. Uh, if they're not like total A list, like I won't follow that person until like right up and to like right up until we're going to record with them. Um, obviously, for the, for the most part, one hoping to get a follow back. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe it's like a little uh, research before the show. Um, but I don't really follow any celebs really on social. Following celebs is hard because a lot of them don't post or the only stuff they post is like sponsored content yeah. or they're promoting whatever or it's just very like blase. I mean, I would love to know what their close friends is like or what their for fucking sure. burner is looking like. Um, oh, the Finsta, for sure. But I have been following Mia, not for, like, I do actually think that she's, like, funny and, and yeah. is a, uh, a an avid poster. And she, again, I don't know when I started following. This is a stupid game to play, but it's like, no, she, like, she's a, a, a great, she's a good follow. Yeah. She's now, not, like, uh, fucking, yeah. you know, following, like, Victoria Beckham or some no. shit where it's just like, oh, another photo of Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Posh Spice. Uh, no, I now follow Mia on all social platforms because we're obviously best friends. Oh, she's a, she's a good tweeter as well. Um, and I got that I private motherfucking letter box. Yeah, that was huge Christ. for me. Was that too much uh, cinema talk? Honestly, whenever Drake or cinema comes up, I just go to my happy place in my brain. <sighs> I'm just like, let Larry have his like. You go to Arrakis. You know, let, yeah, let Larry. I will say, that's more of, that's what the guest, that's what she gets her excited. That's what she's enthusiastic about. You got to let her cook. Yeah, no, and she was cooking. Um, but yeah. It's, it's just. I thought it was how a, it is. Now. I thought it was a fucking banger. Yeah, for sure. Um, let us know in the comments if you thought it was a banger. Um, what are we doing? Oh, fit checks. Yeah, you want to start? What was? Uh, oh, upstairs I was wearing Kiko on my tippies. The Novalis is very excited to hopefully get my hands on the new 
A6 curated by Kiko, the 1260s? Yeah, that three piece is fucking oh. spicy. I like the darker ones. I don't necessarily want the green ones because I already have a 1030 USB dash C <laughs> that just can, that's when you put it in your computer of uh, the mint blue that is kind of already like similar. So he, I, I he, want, he yo, loves Ryan, the seafoam. Ryan, if you're listening, I would love the purples and the browns. Yeah, I was just hoping to get all three and then just figuring out how I want to fucking break them out. Hmm. But he, uh, you're gonna Ke- you're gonna wear them. You're gonna wear them. Yeah, yeah. Kiko okay. loves the sea foam. Great. By the way. Another like, fucking John that we had to text about before. I mean, dude, what a great problem to fucking have, dude. Yeah. Well, sure. if we be- both get a three piece, then we I'll I'll rock the green first, and then you can do your own thing, and everybody can. <sighs> no, win. it's I'm I'm thinking of a. Uh, are we behind the paywall yet? No. So don't say if you. Okay. You know what I'm gonna say, if, right? No, no, but no, because if you have to just say, ah, uh, should I say this? No, don't fucking say it. But you know what I'm gonna say? No. So you don't. don't? I don't Dude, know. Dude, there was a moment last night on oh. the group text. Where I'm oh, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. No, I know. Okay. Yes, of course I yeah. do. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> do your fit check, bitch. Um, Gank gowns. And then Nike Drifties. Finally, <laughs> I can say. Actually, I guess I we already did the boys only. I'm wearing the 316 yeah. X throwing fits, big jeans, um, the perfect fucking denim. I hope you guys are as happy with them as we are. We almost had a fucking little snafu with fucking Miss Khalifa. On oh the, yeah, on she the baggyness of she, the jeans. She had to check. She had to girth check me <laughs> on the jeans. <laughs> you wish she girth checked. She dog. girth checked the denim. <laughs> She did. Oh, uh, like the, the the right. Okay. We were okay. arguing about the correct level of baggies. She's like, "Oh, these are perfect." She was talking about like raver shit. <laughs> I think like you know like the the kids you see are like, "Yeah, what up? I got the fucking the vintage the vintage Mars the vintage Margie the fucking vintage Ricky like those kids that are wearing like crazy shit." I'm just laughing thinking about girth check as a phrase. She girth checked me, bro. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Right. With yeah. him. Well, she said, she said the length is good too. Rise. <laughs> she said the length was good too. Yeah. Um, she's like, no, the big jeans scare me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The big jeans hurt. Nice. Uh, guy, Guy Harvey. Um, Guy Harvey. T, because I'm kind of wearing this. This is like what I was just bumming around the crib in because we are going to a Males B. Schwannin event tonight with the live pod. Got to put on the crispy white tee when I get there. Then the Arlegache Emporio Armani overshirt and the coat was a Yoji Yamamoto Wise for Men from the used internet shop. Bottega, maiden name, Hanes Boxers. Oh, MF Pen, the woven belt. I fucking, yeah. The beautiful, sexy belt. That because I don't trust anybody besides myself to steam or iron anything, whereas you're leaving that, sh- you're uh, Mers B at the, uh, at the shop. Um, I am in. <laughs> You could call me PG last away my Mersby Schwanen. I don't get it. PG Lang. Oh. Pita, Gita, Lawrence Andrew Sloshman last. I mean, if I have to explain it this much, it definitely yeah. did not schwan like I hoped it schwan. No. Okay. I wore uh, our legacy Camion boots. Yes. I have on what color the way? olive ones. Oh, okay. So I can't wear this tonight. Uh, were you planning on it? Yeah, but it's fine. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Um, some men get dressed. Some leave their clothes at the fucking shop ahead of a live show that they're hosting. So I got first dips. Oh, yeah, sure. Because I'm not changing. I right, can't right, change. Right. Um, man reads the socks. The uh, chinos are Mers B. Mm. The white tee from a Z-Bear. What's the number on this guy? Do you remember? 215. 215. How does it make you feel? Let's talk about it. Um, I think it might be defective because I don't look jacked. You don't have like cool. Oh, you do have cool small tattoos, but you don't, you're not like screaming. The new thing on TikTok is now people are making fun of my tattoos. I saw that. Yeah. And, and I, oh, I did notice that. You, no, uh, no, it is no, conspicuously no, covered today. No, well, it's, <laughs> How convenient. If the sleeves are rolled up, it's just because of a, te- t- it's a temperature thing. It's not an aesthetic <laughs> thing. You fucking, whoever the fuck you are, you fucking dickhead. Yes, I saw it and hurt my feelings. Um, <laughs> no, I'm wearing a. You just got to get more tattoos. The, the sizing of these shirts, this is actually good, it's pretty good intel. Like if, if you can get, I, I don't know if we can say how long the wait list is. Um, can't. Okay, right. <laughs> good, actually good to know before we hop on mic in front of an entire audience of potential shoppers oh man you you love <laughs> you love you love info you love I information do. Yeah, I'm a, information's power no i'm a gossip i'm a gossip huge gossip are you do you think you're a gossip not as my lips are not as loose as yours and they do my dude they're so loose they have sunk a lot of ships dude. yeah you are you got roast beef lips bro <laughs> i got beef curtains on my face <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, again, not a misogynistic show at all. It's crazy no. that people would what? levy those no. accusations. Talking about um, foreskin. The, uh, I'm, I'm doing an XL, which is my normal size that I get in T-shirts, even if I 
even if I, I've lost some weight as I've had, I still feel more comfortable in this. You are wearing, when you put on, I think you're doing a large, you kind of look like bared up, so bared I'll, down. So I'm between a large, with, with the MERS B uh, sh- swinging on the shoulders, two, 215, the, the bear t-shirt, I'm between a large and an XL. XL kind of fits me a little looser. If I was just wearing a t-shirt, that's what I would wear. Um, but I did go with the tighter fit because I was feeling a little berry, yeah, a little carmy. Um, I had gotten a good pump in that mm-hmm. morning. Uh, Your tits were popping in a good way. My nips were nipping. It was a bit chilly. What I call me? Um, but I'm wearing a chorco, like a, a nice yeah. khaki merged chorco over it. So I was like, oh, let me go a little slim, and that way I can go, I can cover up the nippies, or I can go fucking, I can bear down. The most embarrassing thing for me is that like. Uh, my true size, my true T size, it does not hug my bicep even remotely. Are you oh. getting huggage on the bias? Yeah, okay. it was great. So, and and it's not normally like the as an undershirt it works. And also, I was like, you know what? Like, this is what this is why people think uh, Jeremy Allen White jaw. Why don't people call him Jaw? Do they? Or no, you say they, they don't? They don't. What? Yeah, because that's fucking dumb as hell, dude. Yo, what up, Jaw? Yeah. Um. No, my joke. Yesterday, that's why it looks so fire, right? Because it is like it's tight in all the right places. It calls you Jeremy Allen Asian. Oh, that's funny. I didn't, you didn't hear, hear that. that? No. Because when good. you were covering up, because you, you were like going, you were covering up your nips in the mirror in front of oh. Pita and Gita. <laughs> um, and then the uh, the quarter zip, which I fucking love, yeah, is this is Mersby. This is great. What's um, the, like, what is this? It's like a, like a really light fleece. So light that I can actually like tuck it in. Nice. Uh, the belt is Mon Italy. The hat is Small Talk Studios um, in collaboration with Throwing Fits, Rolly on the wrist, Wedding Ring on the fingy, Wifey on the pinky, Chrome on the other hand, Greenpoint's finest in the Hydro Flask, and I believe I have Supreme Hanes on my cock and balls. Nice. Yeah. As I said that, I also like, I don't, I don't know if people like- You girth checked it. I, <laughs> I girth checked the Hydro, dude. This is why, yo, honestly, I hope you paid 10 bucks for the Mia Pod, because they already, they already saw it or heard it, and like the spillage- Oh, that was funny to me. And we play like it wasn't like uh, I'm not saying this behind her back. I felt we, bad. She was like, I, I, I wanted to be uh, like, yeah, I wanted to be like, I was oh, like, like let me get the, you a fucking. I should have got I, I wanted to offer her a sweater so she could like drape it um, just because like anytime you spill something, it's embarrassing. Yeah. And it's just self-conscious. And then you're trying to like pot in the moment. And then I had a funny joke about it. Uh, I believe we both had funny well, jokes. Yours. Mine was this is why you pay ten dollars. Oh. to watch her. Oh, you objectified her. Mine was you have a drinking problem. Nice. Like she. Oh, so drink. you made fun of addiction. Cool, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Dude, yeah. she smokes a lot of weed, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, but I guess if you're going to have vices, one thing that no one knows, because this was not a pot, is I mentioned I was a smoker, and she was like, oh. And I'm like, oh, she thinks we're bonding. And I'm like, no, cigarettes. And then she was immediately disgusted. Yeah, I think cigs are... No, they're... Dude, the cord was very anti-cig well, today. Well, ma- 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 majority anti-cig. I think the world is. We live in a judgmental no, cause, society. Cause everyone's, like, oh, everyone's like, everyone's like Puritans. C- everyone's like, cigs are cool now. Like, uh, shout out to Sig Flunsters. Everyone's like, look how cool you, like, you can't help but look cool when you smoke. I'm always jealous that you get to use your cigarette as a fucking proper accessory when we're getting photo shot. Um, you're always sparking up before we like know we're going to get shot. Cause like, it looks cool. And I just simply can't do that. Yeah. Um, but it feels like, is the pendulum swinging back on cigs? Well, I'll tell you this. My pendulum is swinging to fucking Zins, dude. I'm, is it? <laughs> I'm already addicted to Zins. You bummed a cig for me, and I'm not even a smoker. And a, a Capri. Just a light right. little a light little dart ski yeah. the other day. Um, my thing about cigs that the reason why I would never really want to get into them is that they, they fucking age you. And yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, you've... Yeah. you've I look I don't like think, shit. I look uh, like shit. I was going to say, I don't think you've experienced that problem yet, but like as someone as vain, glorious as yourself, no. I have to imagine that that's got to be like a big concern. No? I'm not actually vain. I mean, I, I want to. How many times have you mentioned losing weight on the 14 minutes we've been recording? I can only count as high as Mia Khalifa, which apparently is 10. She's great. Honestly, dude. So I feel like people Are you in love. Uh, like, did I just. Wow. Well, did, did, did we just become best friends? It was more of that. Dude. Oh, OK. And and I think that and I'm kind of bummed and, and I know she this is her life. So who am I to say I'm bummed? She's no matter what she says or does, she's going to get killed by the people that want her literally dead. And that's sad because I'm like, yo, this is a great fucking hang. Yeah. And the fact that that gets to be recorded for posterity is why at least I love this fucking job. Yeah, she's cool. Um, I hope we remain friends with her. Yeah. Okay. What are we talking about besides the world backlashing on SIGs? We do. We are on a bit of a time crunch. Yeah. Because we went along with Mia because she is the goat. Um, How are we doing we right do now? It, it's, eh, 
We Let's should ask, talk about. You have a note here. I have, one, notes, I, have one, want to get right into I have one question for you, and you have one question for me. So let's yeah. just do it. Okay. In your honest opinion and estimation, do you believe that anybody has ever masturbated to you? Yeah. Oh, you're convinced. Women have. They've told you. Yeah. Like really? Ex, like exes or like if they're like travel. Oh. Like sorry, not when they're exes. Like. When Sorry. well, first of all, does like f- phone sex count? No, like the idea of you, the idea of me. Yeah, no, for sure. So, so I guess my, I should I should someone who doesn't know you personally or didn't date you or didn't fuck me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Oh man, <laughs> someone who, who who hasn't. Yeah, <laughs> there's literally dozens of us. No, seriously, because that's like, a good joke. That I had that, in the yeah, shout out to Tobias Funke. I caught that. That was good. I thought uh, we were both on our on our uh, P's and Q's. Yeah, our uh, P's and G's. Pita and Gita. Our T and A. Um, and also, I would also like to say because this is sexy, Jimmy. We're talking about. I'm I'm thinking of the fair sex because I'm sure some gay oh, men have. I was thinking of gay sure. men. <laughs> oh, no, really? Straight up. Yeah. Okay. If 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 gay men I don't, don't think, count. No, I do not think that w- a cis heterosexual woman right. who is not been in any form of relationship with me has ever jerked off to me i don't think i mean i'd be flattered if you have and like feel free to fuck <laughs> let me know feel free, to be- feel free to send the video proof feel free to pound off in the comments where to stop yeah um, feel free to pound that yeah. mound because um, i was because i was because well, obviously mia's history speaks for itself and, and, sorry that came out weird her pedigree is out there everyone knows right and even though that was a blip on the radar it i just thought that's like that was my thought walking over um it's just like damn like you just like you have to move differently through life, and she does, because, like, you meet a dude, and it's like, the odds are forever in your favor that my question would be answered a straight-up yes, of course, obviously. Yeah, or just, like, no... I don't know. Just, like, know what you look like. I, I, this is weird now. This is getting weird. Do you think that anyone's jerked off to you? Absolutely not. And that's why I wanted to write down because I'm like, oh, maybe sexy Jimmy can uh, can make me feel worse about myself. No chance. No I don't know. Chance. Now I'm curious. I, honestly, yo, for me, I would if you're a gay guy and you've beat off to me. Is that a bigger comp is that a bigger compliment than a girl uh, flicking the bean to you? Honestly, wicka, wicka playing DJ. I don't want to fucking squat up or hurt anyone's feelings. No, I would obviously prefer the woman just based on my own proclivities. But um I think that nah, it's a bigger fucking it's I th- better if I think gay. I think and I'm not saying you're wrong. I think that's like the more likely person to get objectified by. If you're if you are a cis het man, who's going to objectify you? A gay man and women. No, no, to like to your face openly. Which again, compliment. Oh, you've never been objectified to your face? No, I, I think th- I have. And I have over IG by gay men for sure. No, by women. Oh, um have women ever found you desirable? No, absolutely not. Oh, here's a. F- I was, oh, this is so funny, dude. The craziest compliment I ever got. I was on a double date with uh, one of my high school girlfriends. I probably was like, I might have been a sophomore, and I was on a double date um, with my best friend Brian. Who you're Matt, doing two bras at once? Um, no, um, <laughs> we are at Dairy Queen in Sick. in White Coffee, New Jersey. And shout out to all my Bergen County listeners. And um, the his girlfriend, or they were seeing each other. I don't know if they were exclusive. She literally stopped the conversation. She looked at me. and She goes. You have beautiful eyebrows. And I was like, and that has Knew never you? left me. I, no, I don't know. I find them, I mean, now obviously big thick brows are in vogue, right? I mean, look at look at me as shit, those fucking caterpillars, right? And I mean that yeah. in the best possible way. My shit, I feel like are thin and wispy, like all the hair on my face. But she's she said that to me apropos of nothing. What year was this? Okay, if uh if I graduated high school in 2005 and I was a sophomore, this would be oh, a three. So it's after 9-11 for sure. But this is when those like J-Lo kind of like <laughs> Boricua, thin, plucked, overly plucked, overly groomed, uh, thin, wispy fucking eyebrows were the shit. What's your favorite physical compliment to get? I get a lot about my eyes. Ooh. Not the racist kind. <laughs> Yo, dude, the other day, uh, I'm not going to give too many details and don't okay. cry, but the I other won't. day, this I guy uh, went up to me. He's like, yo, what up? I fuck with your shit. I was at an event. He's like, I fuck with your shit. Um... <laughs> I work here. Let's like work together on something. And it's actually, I didn't tell you this, but it's actually something that could be like good. Oh, nice. And I was like, Oh, fire. Yeah. I'll fucking give you my math, lock it in, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, and his homie that he was talking to was this, I thought just like straight guy, but he goes, yo, your eyes are mad. Nice. This like a little like Spanish kid. And I'm like, Oh, thank you, bro. 
He's like, yeah, you Latino? I'm like, no, I'm half Japanese. He's like, what's the other half? Puerto Rican? <laughs> he's like, no, he's like, the eyes are beautiful, bro. You could read a little Filipino. Oh, I, I think. could do. I could, you could yeah, do anything. I could be anything. You except- were Brad Pitt in Thailand at one point. I was. Oh, you honestly, of uh, everyone that just potted, only two people have ever, forget about what they actually did, only two of the three have ever been offered to do adult films. Who? You and Mia Khalifa. That's right. Yeah. Not me. Have you been privy to this um, transgender turf war going down in Thailand? No, but I've, I've, so I've, it's been on my for you timeline where okay. I would see Mia Khalifa quite a bit, as I told her. Okay. Um, no, what's, give me, give me more. Give me, um, give me more. Give me more. Give so me, give me more. it's transgender, transgender sex workers, and it's kind of tapped a nerve in Thailand, I think, with uh, probably some like ugly nationalist tendencies mm-hmm. where they're facing a lot of, you know, immigration and maybe feeling a bit of like a you shall not replace us type sure. beat, you know, mm-hmm. some real fucked up shit. Um, Make lady boys great again. Well, offensive term. And uh, there is a huge brawl. So, OK, a very popular Thai Transgender sex worker oh. was getting harassed by Filipino transgender sex. Like workers. This person's like a celebrity sex worker, kind of. They're just like known in the hood. Oh, got it. Right, <laughs> they're birdified. Yeah, <laughs> I went to the hood in Bangkok, and everybody knew this transgender sex worker. And everybody, um, and everybody knew your butthole. And this video goes viral. Of, like they're like giving her the finger. They're like taunt, they're like taunting her. She's like calling up the fucking. She's are you misgendering, gang. or you know for a fact that's how she identifies, or they identify? Pretty sure she they. Well. Uh, she's calling gang, and um. Gang gang. And basically, like, people keep flocking to the area. Police show up. Videos are going viral in real time. Thai people are, like, very online. Um, It turns into this whole fucking thing where it's, like, it's about, like, nationalism, where it's, like, the Filipino transgender sex sex workers are taking our money, taking our jobs, taking our uh, income. And also, what's nice and definitely experiences in Thailand is that uh, the general population is very supportive of, like, trans rights. Right. And so a lot of people were, like, in a kind of like, it got a little ugly nationalist, like, yo, fuck these Filipinos. We stand with our transgender right. sex workers. And this one dude, they're, they, they're taking our jobs. Yeah, for real. I no, know. that really yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Like, uh, the police showed up and like, they were overran by literally thousands Damn. of these like screaming transgender sex workers that are like mostly beating, trying to beat or get a shot in with their shoes. Mm-hmm. Like you see one shorty come in and she takes off her Adidas slides and she starts fucking like, uh, chanclatting like yeah, all yeah. the Filipino women. And it started this like crazy thing. And there's like side quests and side characters. And this one dude that like, he was interviewed on national TV and he's like buff and hot. And he's like, he's like, I fucking love like, look, if they're Thai, I don't care if they're like gay, straight, whatever, purple, yellow, whatever, like transgender. I don't give a fuck. Like I'm standing with my Thai bitches. Yeah. And he got, he like is probably drowning in like transgender post-op pussy now. Mm-hmm. Um, pussy. Yeah. So he's, so it's this whole thing in Thailand. It's very, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. The only, uh, have you ever witnessed an actual like um, murder or homicide in your life? 9-11. <sighs> I mean like more of the, of the smaller scale. On a smaller scale. I don't think so. Because on New Year's Day in the West Village many years ago, when I did not live in New York, um, but uh, I was here with some friends celebrating. Filming some TikToks? I I might have even told us on the pod a million years ago, but Jenna was there. I was with a bunch of friends. We saw a brawl between um, a transgender person and what seemed like... I would say a cis head straight white guy. And um, I watched that white boy get um, stabbed multiple times with, with a knife, a pen knife, a shank, something. Damn. And uh, I think it's just one of those things. This is completely sincere. I think that, you know, and Mia's talking about how like her life has been threatened with violence. And there's a lot of people that do not have it as good as the two hosts of the only podcast that matter. If I'm a fucking transgender person, you know, I'm keeping that motherfucking thing on me because I can't even imagine the shit that they got to fucking deal with. And I witnessed the fucking backlash of the century. Yeah. You fuck, you fuck that person, that guy on New Year's, that was New Year's Day. Actually, he fucked around. He found out. Yeah. He might have died, bro. His body, I saw. Was he like just laying there? Yeah, bleeding, bleeding, out? bleeding out. And then I saw the, and and Jenna and all the, the women we were with are like, and not that I'm like sitting there leering like faces of death style, World but like, Star. yeah, but I'm like, how is, what's going to happen? Saw the ambulance, Paul, no idea what happened to that guy. Who knows? Yeah. R.I.P. Maybe, maybe you're dead, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unclear. Yeah, the lady, or sorry, the transgender sex workers in Thailand fucking love me, though, uh, needless to say. Um, again, it's the eyes, Chico, it's the eyes. Well, I was going to say, you probably tip real well, too. I did, with my penis. Um, <laughs> nice. No, the thing is, the thing that they do is they're all, they're sitting outside their, like, place of work, and they're all oiled up, and they come on you, they come up to you, and they, like, latch onto you, like, 
sweetie, sweetie, like, and they're, they're all so slip right off. They're so oiled. They're so oiled up. You can't push them off. <laughs> can't get you're just grip. like, ah! yeah. You, anyway. You're getting a yeah, an unprompted new room massage. Yeah. <laughs> you got new room, dude. <laughs> oh my god, one of the best uh, conf- confrontations between the Thai sex workers and the police was. They're like, you can't come here. You can't cite violence. And she's like, fuck that. I'm Thai. I got my hands and my cock. And she like grabs her dick. Woo! Yeah, it's pretty fire. Packing? I don't know. It was kind of a grainy video. Yeah. Um, Not 4K. Oh, let me ask you this. Yeah. Since we had on Mia Khalifa, everybody knows her past. We talked about it. Um, it seems like she's like gone through a lot of therapy to, to kind of put that in the past and put it behind her and live her uh, best current life. I want to ask you, though, what? Because we've been doing this for a fucking minute now. Yes, sir. Ski. In one form or another, what is on the internet? that will never go away there forever that yeah. you are ashamed of. Um, it's funny because for the most part, I live and die as an open book where I, I really think that transparency maybe too much and honesty um, is a superpower and not an Achilles heel. Unless it's not doing numbers. Then you'll delete that shit. Yeah, right. Exactly. Um, unless it's not doing its fucking job. No. Uh, the worst shit is definitely from college, and that's all on Facebook. Oh. Um, and everything is on IG. But thank you for prepping me, because there is one archived post that I had to remove that I want to show you. and I'm From gonna, your own socials? From my Instagram that oh. um, you'll know immediately Was why. it a black square in June 2020? No, I never did black <laughs> square. But we like, we were, we did some, we did the work, but I think we might have been a little heavy handy. So I'm going to go to post archive and I'm going to show you. Oh, you know what? I didn't even archive it. I straight up deleted it. So I'll just describe it. Um, many years ago, Jen and I went on a date night to, um, I don't know if it was called the Sony Theater, but the, the smaller MSG venue. Yeah. And uh, we were there to see a live performance by the one and only Robert Kelly. And <laughs> the uh, highlight of the evening was as we walked in, we noticed that there was a step and repeat with a giant airbrushed portrait <laughs> of R. Kelly that all couples uh, could have their picture uh, taken in front of professionally or, you know, you pay a little bit less and they took it, you know, take it on whatever model iPhone was out. And you already know that to commemorate that special moment, Jen and I got flicked up and that is a photo that I think I just straight up deleted off my IG. Damn. Because it's not after there. He... I wish I... This was... So this would this would have been... Fuck, now I wish I had an archive. I could literally say the year, but it was a long time ago. It's got to be 10 years ago. Here's a question. If someone but commits that's heinous acts, such as R. Kelly, right, and they are charged and they're paying the price, and currently paying the price, are we now allowed to, like, allowed to engage with their work? Because it's like, all right, look, the guy fucked around and he found out, right? Yeah. He pissed around... And but, he found out. What, so but now if they're not like, paying the price, so that's the Chris Brown point. That, exactly, exactly. That so like, so like, it, yeah. uh, uh, though he like, would claim he is paying the price. For example, Ignition <laughs> Remix fucking bangs, oh, all timer ca- bangs in karaoke, mm-hmm. and all timer private room or publicly. Honestly, I don't know about publicly, but like private room, <laughs> Ignition Remix fucking slaps. And this man is in jail, right? He is soon to be summoned with Diddy. So the question is like, if he's if he's paying his dues to society or whatever the phrase is. Are you the allowed punishment to, fits the crime. So, are you allowed to to enjoy the the, the spoils of their uh, discography? This or is body the work. This is the afters, and I don't know how much lighter people expect this to be the normal. Uh, the whole separating the art from the artist thing, like I f- do it with my faves, and for people yeah. that I don't give a <laughs> fuck about, I I'm like, oh, like fuzz, yeah. death penalty, full 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 fucking hypocrite. Um, so like, yeah, for someone like Diddy who like you know, always thought was a bad guy and like respected the work, you know, air quotes. Like, uh, what are you talking about, bro? Bangers. Yeah. No. Endless, yeah. endless bangers. Endless bangers. Okay. I'm going to start with victory. Uh, okay. I'm going to start with bad boys for life. All right. Let me throw something out for you. G Depp. Let's get it. G Depp special delivery. Um, His verse on the, Oh, let's do it. Remix. It's all Waka about Waka the Flame. Benjamins Rob zombie rock remix. Uh, how about this? Let me throw it out. In terms of if they had touched a knob or a key in the studio, Kanye or Puff, who do you cancel between the two? You can only pick one. Me? Like me. Yeah, I'm asking you. And the audience, I don't get Does everyone know that I am the canceled, I'm the judge? No, it's just, it's just that you just can never listen to, again, anything where that person touched a knob or a key oh, in the studio. I guess, I guess Diddy. You're picking Diddy or canceling Diddy? Canceling Diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Good. Yeah. Correct. That correct answer. Yeah. Okay, okay. Relax. What on the internet are you ashamed of? Um. This is. Thank God, this is truly has been wiped because I've tried to find it. I've tried How to hard? Find it. <laughs> How hard has been wiped? Harder than you wipe your own ass are, in the morning. Are, are you sure that you're not about to like open Pandora's box? I'm not with- gonna look if it gets drudged up in the cord. Like, fine, whatever. I'll own it. Um, you don't. You're not Asian, so you don't know what Zanga is. Yeah, I do. I had a Zanga. You had a Zanga. And if someone finds my, oh my god, I guess I am ashamed of that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but I think I was like doing. Sorry, not to hijack. I I had a Zanga. That was because that was our. That was like before or after Live Journal. I was a Zanga guy though. In my school, it was. Uh, Zanga, because it was like my school was half white, half Asian, yeah. and like one percent. Are you impressed that I know I was fully? I think I was doing pop punk like music reviews, and then maybe gossiping. Gossiping. I'm not a reply guy. I'm a pry guy. So you already know I was on there fucking prying things that needed to stay shut. And Damn. maybe maybe journaling a bit. Oh my god! If someone found that, yeah, I'd probably kill myself. I did. Uh, I think I did creative short story writing. Fire! I bet you there. I would love to read them. No, but they're like I'll give you notes. I mean, <laughs> if I find them, I'll let you know. Um, but when you're, that's when you're a kid, that doesn't, I, I thought you meant it doesn't adult. matter if somebody, if somebody found this and they're like, Oh, fucking Jimmy thinks he's so cool. He eats at the hottest restaurants in New York city. <laughs> where's, where's clothes from our legacy. That's by the way. That's what everyone says about you. I know it's true. <laughs> um, always fucking bullying Larry. No, if somebody found that and like held it up to you, like it would be very, it would be very embarrassing. So like, there's definitely things that have been said on pods before where I'm like, yo, if we, and I've said this worst case scenario, worst case scenario, if we piss off the wrong person, they could. Why are you telling anyone this? This was a convo we had yesterday when that kid fucking docs us in his car listening to the pod. Also the amount of people kind of say, I get it. Well, this is not going, this doesn't go live. This is always behind the paywall. So it's fine. No, no, these go live on YouTube now. Oh, does it? Okay. Uh, No, my point was (laughs) the, uh, the response that the majority of the, uh, People who pay us to chat in our Discord, the amount of people that were like, oh, you should have hit them with your car or were making jokes in that regard of us getting fucking mowed down. You think that was funny? I thought it was mad funny. No, I was like, this is fucking hella morbid. <laughs> That's mad morbid. Fucking mad max us, bro. I was more like, my joke was, yeah, you got the, you know, uh, 4K HD, whatever the fuck experience. Yeah, that wasn't funny. The mowing us down with the car, that was funny. I tried to pivot. Also, it was hilarious, the photo, because I'm wearing like a long jacket, but like you are, you are literally 80% leg. Yeah, dude, I'm so sexy. It looks like it almost looked like you had a butt. A lot of people, a lot of people are calling me the next Mia Khalifa, dude. <laughs> okay, the male Mia Khalifa. Um, all right, well, we so you have to go. So all of our Zangas and R. Ke- I mean, I described the post. I no, definitely I'll, did. And then also, yeah, you with R. Kelly and like definitely. I mean, if you scroll back like on anyone's Instagram, right. it's embarrassing. That hasn't like deleted all. Have you shit. archived anything? I don't think so. Maybe yeah, some I like don't. maybe some stuff from like the BLM times when we were like doing like promo. Oh, like, should contests. I? Do you think I should archive that? Not again. I thought I I have stuff up there that's like low key heavy handed in a way that looking back now, I'm like, I don't know. I felt it felt good at the time. And I feel like it was I did like a like I posted our like uh, I posted our like our legacy raffle or like Gorecki raffle that raised a ton of money, hundreds of thousand dollars. Um, yo, also, but by I the way, that because it's like, yo, enter this contest, and it's like, all right, well, this is done now. Also, and also, yeah, a bit cringe. Just real quick, like this pissed off a lot of people, but like, yo, we were trying to free Palestine and send money before it was cool. Just want to say. That's true. We did have the pack. That pissed people off? Uh, there's one guy that- oh, that re- pissed person off? Well, no, but just like- Well, I think there's people that get pissed off that or pissed don't agree. That pissed off that Jew? No, and, <laughs> and unfollow. Sure. Um, Fuck whereas it. there's Whatever. one guy that like eventually I had to block because it like from that moment, how, and how long ago was right, that? Right, yeah, yeah. Till fucking, you know, speaking of fucking Stan culture, he's yeah. fucking Zionist. But okay, bro. we have to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see you I hope tonight. you enjoyed this episode this after is- uh, you're listening to this five days or so after the fucking event, or a week after the event happened, and it was awesome. And um, you heard it. You got to see it because it's going on Patreon on Friday. Exactly. So we'll yeah. see you there. Or Peace, we saw guys. you there. Bye.